Guys got three basic needs, ladies. Eating, sleeping, and meta M4s. That's it. See? And that is our whole day. Our whole day is consumed with getting to that next meta M4. All right, you guys heard Bill Ingvall. Now, I can't help you eat or sleep, but what I can definitely do, guys, is help you get some meta M4s. Oh, pretend I didn't open that box. <laughs> I can help you get some meta M4s. Today in this video, I'm gonna be going over a bunch of my loot routes on specific maps to get meta M4s. And we're gonna be going over every map except factory and labs because on factory and labs, the main goal is just PVP. And on factory, the only real loot's in the office. And on labs, there's loot everywhere. The best loot being uh, the rooms with key cards and the middle area. So I don't really feel like I have to show those two maps. But without further ado, guys, Let's get right into it. All right, man, and to kick things off, we're gonna be starting with the tech rooms on Reserve. Now, you guys know Reserve is by far my favorite map, uh, especially to abuse for rubles. It's got so much loot, great extracts. People play kind of ratty, so not too hard to avoid fights if that's your thing. But we're gonna be starting with tech rooms. So it's at the front of the helicopter. You go through the front door, go to the third floor, jump down just like this. In this room, you can find graphics cards on these shelves all the time. Don't be afraid to check the computers. Uh, what is that? Is that RAM? That's a good find right there. Sorry about the air conditioning sound in the background, guys. I uh, really wanted to record this video and didn't want to wait for the AC to stop because that could be hours. But yeah, anyways, check for the computers here. And just on all these little desks, like I said, you can find graphics cards pretty regularly. You'll, of you'll often find people hatchet running into this room because it is such mad spawns. But if you don't find anything in this room, there are two other tech rooms. Uh, I call them tech rooms, ah! kind of nearby. So if you come out and take a right, come right over to this building here. Take a right. In these rooms, I found insane loot. Mil what is the circuit board? Yeah. I find circuit boards, I find graphics cards, I find MCBs, uh, I've even found air filters. Uh, these. I don't know what you call these little shelves, but anywhere with these shelves tend to spawn great loot. And uh, there's even more over here. If we go... to this side of the tech room. Tons more shelves. Tons, tons, tons. I cannot tell you how many graphics cards I've farmed in here. Countless. Right here. This one treats me well, dude. This one treats me well. Oh my god. Happy day. Look at that, dude. So yeah, that's the tech room on reserve. Now we're gonna go hit up the marked rooms. Alright. Here we are at the first marked room. Now my friends and I actually call where we just were god spawn because you can literally spawn right there and you will 100% get to marked room faster than anybody else. Guaranteed they can't contest you. It is a free marked room. So, this is our first one. Marked rooms have insane loot. They're actually one of the only places for red key cards to spawn randomly. Uh, marked room on some of the bosses and on Killa, I believe. Or, uh, and in the marked circle on Woods, I believe, are the only places you can get them. But, yeah. First marked room over here. We call this God Spawn, like I said, because it's super OP. If you really want, you can get the other key that opens this door. I'll have it up on the screen now, whatever key it is. You can always find like AKs and stuff in here. If you're doing pistol runs, this is actually a really cool run, uh, loot, <clears throat> can't talk. A really cool room because you can come in here, grab an AK, put a sight on it, you know, like this uh, EKB sight right here. And boom, now you got an AK, usually with BS or BP ammo. Um, and you can go finish the rest of your loot run. But, so this is the first marked room. I'm gonna take it over to the, the second one. And for the second marked room, guys, if you remember from my other video, this is the entrance to uh, go activate the D2 extract. Let's get to the marked room. It's just the entrance opposite of it. Ooh. BT and some water. Uh, it's the, the entrance opposite of it. You come down here, take a right, and boom, you're at the second marked room. Now, there are three marked rooms on reserve, but I don't even want to show you guys the third one because the third one, people, it's very high traffic, and people love to uh, hang out there as well as you'll often find raiders and stuff. Uh, hanging out in the tunnel. You can also get really lost down here in the tunnel, so I would totally uh, avoid the tunnels if you're a new player and just stick to using it for the D2 extract. And uh, if you guys want me to make a tunnel video, I will totally do that. 
All right, guys, and the last simple spot to uh, loot on reserve I want to show you are these two little guard rooms. You got a safe and another computer, as well as a weapon safe, but I never really find anything in this thing. And then if you have the key, you can open up this bad boy, but I usually just ignore it. But the real gold for the dome down here, if we go down, it's actually right across from the D2 extract, so the a real important thing with this is every time you go to the D2 extract, uh, make sure you hit this room. I don't really know what you would call this room, but uh, it's got intel spawns, and I've found many gold watches in there, in the safe, uh, a couple lions. It's real good. This spot's real good. We come down here. Keys spawn right here, by the way. I found a couple of good keys in that little thing. But, so 90% of the time you're going to be taking the D2 extract here if you don't have Red Rebel. So that's D2, right? That's the door that takes you right to the extract. So when you're going to it, always come up here. Make sure you hit these little weapon or uh, toolboxes because you can get bolts and screws which sell for like 20 grand pretty consistently. So hit all those little toolboxes. But if you come in here, I found intel on these shelves, this desk. And of course, don't forget to loot the safe here. But I think that's enough for reserve, guys. Let's go hop over to customs. All right, so here we are on customs, guys. Customs is one of my favorite maps for uh, organic PvP. There's a lot of uh, good places for loot on here, but we're gonna stick to three, starting with one of my favorites. I think this is a hidden gem, honestly. The gas station. This little room at the beginning of the wipe gave me so many level five armors, it's insane. They spawn right here on this table. I, f I find them probably like once every five, six, seven raids. Uh, level five armor just chilling right here, it's insane. Uh, I've also seen stuff spawn near the couch, and then obviously, you have the extract right here. So, old gas, damn good spot. Alright, so the second spot on customs is actually straight up overpowered, dude. So, it's in the new new area of customs. Uh, the river's like there, dorms is over there if that helps. Uh, but yeah, this is the new area of customs. This whole building, this whole building has a decent amount of loot. But there's one room in particular that is straight overpowered, dude. If you go up the stairs, you just get it straight. This room is called the Intel Room because I have seen, and I'm not kidding, I have seen people get not one, not two, not three, but four fucking Intels in one room. One of these rooms has had four Intels, I've seen ones, just on these shelves, they can be on any of these shelves. So you will find Intel spawns on these all the time, dude. I was actually literally just watching Willie's stream while I was making my cup of coffee. And uh, he walked right past an Intel folder. <laughs> Cause there's so many that like, he grabbed one and he left not realizing that dude like multiple spawn in here so guys intel room op make sure you hit it but now we're gonna go to the most overpowered spot on dorm for loot and i think i know you guys know which one that is all right here we are the best spot for loot on customs now when i play customs dude i usually just scav when i uh, play customs i usually just scav didn't know i need ammo for this um All right, I need your PPSH since you're making me use all this ammo. <laughs> Sorry about this, dudes. All right, where was I before I got interrupted? Ah, yes, dorms. <laughs> dorms on customs is always popping, dude. You'll always find scabs to kill like that, or uh, even better players to fight. However. The best loot in all of customs. When I when I take customs, by the way, I always take third floor, and I just run straight into this room, and then I like take it door by door, you know, for a sweep. Owie. Whoa. Trying to make a video, Mr. Scav. Excuse me. Alright. 
Since your buddies keep fighting me, I keep needing to take guns. <laughs> but yeah, dorms is popping, dude, if you guys can't tell from all the action already. There is always action at dorms. It's sweet. It's probably one of the most high traffic areas in the entire game. Pretty much always get a fight when you come here. Uh, but if you play it like a rat and you just come for loot, here's the marked room. And here's where you find the real goodies. Look at that drill. Look at that money. Nice. Alright. Let's hop over to Interchange. Alright, so here we are on Interchange. And, uh... Well, it's a giant fucking mall, so just go ahead and loot everything in there and you'll be good. Alright. Let's hop on over to Woods. No, I'm just kidding. We'll go in and, uh, I'll show you guys some of my favorite spots to loot. And you. Hopefully that rain doesn't get too bad, but I'll see you guys inside. All right, guys, so we're in the mall, and here we are at Ollie. Now, a lot of the interchange rats and interchange mains that I watch on uh, Twitch, uh, people like Gingerlessness, she plays a lot of uh, interchange, tend to spend a lot of their time in Ollie just because these shelves have so... M so much loot, dude. Like, you can find uh, propane, you can find... You pretty much any, like, miscellaneous loot uh, you can find on these shelves. You can also find... We go back to the end here. On these, sh I'm talking about my aim. There's a motor. Come here, Scav. These shelves back here. Like, if you're one player coming in here, you're probably going to fill up an entire bag just off the shelves alone. All these shelves. So, Ollie, dude, be sure to hit all the shelves. Alright, here we are at my second favorite spot to loot on uh, Interchange. The only downside with this spot is everybody knows about it. So, if you're not the first come, first serve, you got to just kind of hope uh, people overlook stuff, but... Again, on all these shelves, you're going to see a pattern in Interchange. Like, Interchange really is pretty simple. I think it's the simplest loot uh, map to loot because you just check all the shelves, man. Check all the shelves. Tech Light can have some crazy loot, obviously graphics cards and, you know, all your technical technological stuff. But, yeah, let's get going to uh, my third and favorite place to loot on Interchange. All right, here we are, my favorite spot to loot on Interchange. I don't know what you would call this, but it's kind of just like the middle of the mall, right? Now, obviously, middle of the mall, there's going to be people here, la da 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 But if you play kind of cautiously and slow, I'm sure you'll have no problem looting up all these shops. Um, my favorites are, be are uh, Mantis and Brutal. Just tons of loot in there, tons of jackets, tons of miscellaneous shelves and stuff you can pick up. But if you hear like a beep, 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 beep thing going off, that means somebody might have hit... I just got super turned around here. Right here. <laughs> Somebody might have hit this uh, room here. I don't think you can shoot through the windows here. So don't even bother trying to shoot in or out. But uh, this is Kibba. And Kibba has M4 spawns. It has everything. But you, as you can see there, I didn't turn the, uh, nobody turned the power on. But most of the time in these matches, people turn the power on. And uh, like I said, in here, you will find M4s. You'll find body armor on the mannequins. Uh, I've even seen somebody get a red rebel from the crate that spawns back there. There's so much loot in here, it's insane. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily call it simple, though, because you do need a really expensive key and the power, but just keep your eyes on it. If you come in here to loot all these stores and you hear the beeping, definitely go check if Kibba's open, because you can get some insane loot from there. But that about does it for interchange, guys. Like I said, it's a mall. Just run around and loot everything. You'll have no problem on this map. But let's go hop into a map with a little bit less loot. Woods. Here we are on Woods, and there's no rain. How nice is that? Uh, woods is really simple, honestly. When it comes to loot, uh, there's really only two, there's really only two places I worry about, and that is this little compound here. This little compound right here. I don't know what I name this. All right, I'm gonna call this Barack's compound because this compound treats me right, dude. You got little crates, and I've also found uh, uh, tons of AKs here, and I've actually 
Where is it? In this box, I found a P90 once. So, always check these boxes all over the map. Woods doesn't have too much map, but I know there's, like, just tons of loot spawns on the floor and on the tables here. So, Barack Shack is where I would start. But, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to do any cuts for Woods, guys. I might just do one log take for this one because it is really simple. The other good thing about Woods is it has two key card spawns. And when I do Woods, I usually just run for the middle camp, which, spoiler alert, that's the third spot. Uh, cause it's by far the best, but I go for that little camp and I just try to fight Sturman and his guards and then check key card And then get out because Like I said, there's just not too much ground to cover on woods I feel like but the loot that can spawn is insane like a violet key card and you're pretty much good like you can just go sell that um, And you'd never really have to worry about ruples again, so it's kind of a higher risk higher reward I feel like but First violet spawn. This is actually the second area. Call this like roadblock or something. Ow. Dude, he broke my arm. But we can call this like roadblock or something. Obviously another box that can have good stuff in it. A lot of common loot can spawn on the ground and there's actually a file in the cabinet which I didn't really think of when I was uh, picking this spot. Hang on, I gotta kill the scav. Um, yeah. Get a little weapon scrap. I think I've seen Red Rebel spawn in these uh, on YouTube, so be careful. But the Violet card spawns right here. Right on the floor, under the steering wheel. So, second spot. A uh, little red block compound. When I was editing the video, guys, I forgot to, thro to throw in right here, in between the spot I just showed you and the camp, which is right there. There's a marked circle. And this has a chance to spawn some of the best loot in the game, so always hit it. But yeah, in between the uh, the camp and the spot I just showed you. All right, yeah, third spot, ta-da, middle compound. Uh, there's a, I could try to like name all the little, you know, crates and stuff that spawn here, but there's just so many. Um, this, this is like, I feel like they put 90% of all the loot in woods in this little middle compound. So if there's one, one tip for woods, it would probably just be come here, honestly. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, just check everywhere, man. Check all the little shacks. There's a, I found many SMGs over in the, that box over there. I don't know if it's bug or if I'm just lucky or what. Jackets over there. Um, yeah, just good stuff. But the best. The second Violet key card spawn. Right in here on this table. Right here. You can get another one. And obviously, there's more loot, more loot, more loot. Da -da -da. The middle compound's really insane. Over on the dock. I know there's, like, a weapons crate. <clears throat> so yeah, woods is good, guys. When it comes to woods, like I've been saying, it's not it's not about the uh, the amount. It's just it's more about how rare the loot is. Like if you come here and there's Sturman, you're getting three decked raiders worth of loot. He has a chance for a red rebel. Even he's got his little cash. You're gonna guarantee to open, and you get all the violet key card. You got those two violet key card spawns, as well as Barack's camp. I like that, and uh, the road crash, the the crash site or roadblock. I can't talk. But anyways, that's wood, guys. Let's go hop on to the final map, Shoreline. So, originally when I was making this, guys, I was definitely going to put the resort, obviously, on uh, this list. But, I was just going to say, like, just go to the resort and loot everything, because it's all good. And that's true, but that also is kind of like a dickhead thing for me to do. Oops, someone's in there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run around the resort, and I'm going to just show you guys where all the red key, car sp key cards spawn. And that's... <laughs> That's because the red key cards is like is like the most valuable item in the game. So here we are at the uh, the front of the, the resort main entrance. So the first spawn, you come up here, up the stairs, take your left, and then just in this door right here, this is a spawn on this table. Next spawn, it spawns into 18. There's a little blue tub. It looks just like this. It spawns on top of it. You can either bring the 218. 221 or the 222 key any of them works uh, you just go through the balconies on the back and it'll take you right to the key card that like I said spawns inside 218 on the blue little tub inside next spot all right for the last spot on the west wing uh, you can see there's the tennis courts there's the main entrance we're gonna go downstairs and it's literally right here in the gym you can get a good pump and find a good red key card right here on the metal for you. You don't need a key or anything for this one, so this is probably the best spawn on the whole map. Uh, and then let's head over to the east wing. Alright, guys, and for the last spawn uh, that I can confirm, 
we have room 218. It always spawns open. You come through 218, through here, and it spawns right here next to this computer. You have a spawn right there. So that's all the shoreline uh, key card spawns. And obviously, like I was saying, be sure you hit. Be sure you hit all of the rooms that you have the keys for, not just the keycard spawns. But if you obviously, I would prioritize those. Uh, there's one other spot on Shoreline that I really want to show you guys. It's one of my personal favorites. I get a lot of loot there, and it's close to an extract. So let's head over to the pier, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here we are at my favorite location. The pier. Now, the pier's really uh, cool because that boat right there, if that buoy has a light on it, you can use that boat as an extract if you have it. So it's a really nice extract. But also, it has two safes and two computers. One, one computer, one safe here. And one computer and one safe here. Really nice for uh, just a lot of good loot in one spot, honestly. That's like if you're playing by yourself or you're scaven, definitely come swing by here and always check this little spot out. Huge boost of money if you can uh, get it to yourself, which I'm sure you can most of the time. But that should do it for me, guys, for this video. I really appreciate you watching. And if you feel like you haven't, you know, you started too late in the wipe or you don't have time to make money because everybody else is really geared now, just remember... Uh, what is it? I just forgot it. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, but the second best time is now. So, anyway, guys, remember, if this helped, please uh, leave me a like and sub. I hope you guys have a good day. Appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.